And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Seven Days to Die. Well, having those ten more forges going have uh, has really made a big difference. Um, so I've got these ten forges going down here, and yeah, it's been it's pretty amazing how fast these things can go. Uh, so like I just got done smelting, I don't know about fifty six hundred uh initial uh cement out of these and we're already able to probably make comparable amounts um so in the time it takes to craft the cement or the concrete we've got another another set ready to go uh so i want to get these going while we run here see if we can't make this work one of these has an odd one in here, so I'm just going to keep that at 49, so I accidentally clicked it. Yeah, 5,500 times 10. Oh, this one still hasn't... There we go. Oh. Just wait a, cut, wait a second and it should uh, should start crafting. These other ten are going to be for steel because I started I started upgrading I started upgrading the spikes to steel. I was doing that last night. I was upgrading this row and I was going along, and in comes a wandering horde just cruising in to hit the brand new the brand new steel spikes. And boy, did they not like that at all. Uh, and the other thing about this design that I forgot to mention is we have a lip. That goes over the side of this. Uh, I almost forgot about it as I was filling in concrete, uh, filling in the the uh, skirting concrete going around here. I was like, "Oh wait, there's a lip that goes around," uh, and this lip is kind of important. It shrinks the area in here a little bit and uh, gives you uh, ample space to uh, put your blade traps in and uh, blade traps are the key to this design so I want these in and dried as soon as possible and then I need 16 more pillars we need to put those pillars in get those in and dried as well so we can get everything down there upgraded because the uh, the pillars that go in for the blade traps they stick up one so we need uh, pillar I need like 16 of these, please. So yeah, 16 blade traps go in this design. And they basically uh, have a 3x3 three three range. So go in one and out one, and that's your blade trap. And then go over two, and then that's your blade trap. Over two, and there's one there. Over two, there's one there. Over two. And that gives you exactly the corner right there. Otherwise, I'm hearing things. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of a weird, odd, odd number, and it's hard to it's hard to make it work. I just scream her over there. We'll let her. We'll let her introduce herself to those spikes. So yeah, having those having those extra forges has really accelerated this process. Um, if you're only relying on one forge, obviously you're going to be waiting a while, waiting a long while. So we got 54 left, so we can uh, we can upgrade a couple of these here. This is a uh, basically 25 in the middle here. So two of these is 50. 50 upgrades so 250 concrete for each center center area you know concrete does go fast it goes really fast and so does steel if you if you decide to go with steel spikes oh wow do you use a lot of steel because each one of those upgrades is 10 steel and there's a lot there's you know three or four thousand steel worth oh is he going to fall down here? 
I don't know if he sees me or not, so let's see if I can get a 2x on him. Okay, he's just... Somehow avoiding. I'm just going to pump arrows into this guy. Yeah, come on. These guys have so much health. Wow. That was a lot. That was a lot of... A lot of arrows that guy took. Alright, so we've got just a little bit of concrete left to go up here. And uh, to be fair, that concrete should be just about crafted down, or the cement anyway. Yep, 540. Kind of 540 across 550. So this should be almost exactly one stack. Yep, 5480. So I can grab a whole stack of this. Look at all. We've used a ton of the stone that I had down here. So yeah, the the quicker crafting is helping with that. And I know that uh, it's kind of cheesy. But uh, yeah, uh, I like to get stuff done in an episode. I don't like to wait around a whole lot and uh, wait for the craft to, to finish. So yeah, we've got all of these to uh, finish up. And then I'd like to get these in here because if we're down here looting, see down here you can you can actually reach the bodies. So it's really it's really nice to loot down here. And then I put in crates along the outside so you can so you can loot 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 drop in the crate loot 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 drop it in the crate. And you don't have to worry about that once the blade traps are in. Uh, which reminds me, I really need, let's see, no science, uh, melee traps and generator bank, do it yourself, um, yeah, I might need that, I can't get a, can't get battery bank because that's a, that's something you actually have to, uh, a, a schematic you actually have to go for. Uh, I don't need any switches or triggers or anything like that. I could do like an electric fence, but uh, maybe maybe down the road I'll look at that. Um, anything else? I've already, I've previously maxed most of this stuff out. The bad mechanic, for some reason I haven't. So I want to get that. Can't max it out quite yet. I need construction tools 80, which I am very, very close to getting with all of the concrete and stuff that I've been doing. Very close to getting that. Uh, knife gaze previously maxed. You know, I might as well max that. Max that. Not that we have any of these weapons, but uh, I'd like to at least have a shot. Uh, I might need to get some ammo crafting going uh, with this horde coming up. Let's check our game stage again. Game stage. Yeah, 878. It's, it's going up fast. It's going up really fast. All right. It's always a, it's always a challenge to grab stuff out of there at, at even amounts. Uh, so if I come over here, I should be able... With the amount of concrete I picked up, easily fill all these up. And that'll give them a chance to dry. All the way around. And I've, I've already done the, the concrete going around the, the edge there. So that's already done. Uh, I'd like to get these supports in. Just for, this is more aesthetics, but I like, I like when these things are done. 
and they they match they match the other concrete so we'll we'll spend a little bit of concrete on that not too bad and now it's you know basically this side in here we need to get the rest of these upgraded because if a, if a cop comes in here and is beaten on the wall uh, we want to we want to have some protection and it would not be good if he exploded and it gutted the you know it gutted a hole in the wall that would not be a good thing get all that upgraded ready to go let's start getting this stuff get the supports done yeah leveling has gotten kind of crazy uh, I haven't obviously fixed the XMLs or or done anything since the last episode I'm just sort of doing a recording session and I'll I'll check over them later. Let's see how much do we have? We only have 20 more. So I'm going to get a few of these upgraded. These these uh ones up here are important. These get beat on more than anything is that you know the zombies stand there and they stand there and they can they can beat on those pillars. So I want to get make sure those get upgraded. Oh, we had some more dry here, so I need to go grab some more. So yeah, the, the big push now is getting all this upgraded. And I don't know if I actually have enough components back at the other base, the, the our initial base, to, uh, to make that work, uh, to upgrade everything and get our blade traps. Because blade traps... They are not cheap when it comes to uh, materials. I'm going to get that one and that one. And yes, all those ones down there will need to be uh, upgraded as well. Because they, I mean, they take a pretty good amount of damage. Mostly from... You know, guns and shooting. You know, trying to shoot at the the zombies that land on the on the blade floor there on the looting looting platform. So the next big push is going to be for steel to get all of those blade traps upgraded, and uh, probably use a lot of my wood for regular uh, uh, regular spikes. I mean, the uh, get the spikes upgraded, not the blade traps. Um, so yeah, get you know get all these pillars upgraded. That's going to be a hefty amount of concrete, and then we need we need a little bit of we need a little area for storage down here, so I can start bringing my material down. So let's I need to finish some of these off, just so I can bring some crates down here, and even if it's not an organized uh, system yet. I'd like to get, I'd like to get it, get it going as much as possible here. We got, you know, another couple thousand concrete crafting in there. So get some of our floor in. Now we should be able to get bad mechanic. Let's check. Yep. Get that in. And uh, then we need, of course, some more in here. Okay, that's, that's all she wrote. So, yeah, these in here. Because I don't want to accidentally hit E on one of these frames and pick it up and then drop through while I'm looting. Because you're you're down here and there are going to be bodies down here. It's a lot easier to to grab these bodies and to loot when you're not you are know, not uh, accidentally picking up rebar frame. That would not be a good that would not be a good day. So yeah, this system is now coming into 
fruition here with those added forges and I kind of want I don't want all 20 of these to go be going because the the number of screamers that that would generate would be I wouldn't even be able to walk outside for two seconds without running into a screamer at that point right now the screamers are pretty intense but uh, that's why we started with that spike trench we put the spikes up so when this when we got to this stage we had ample amounts of sort of deterrence going around the side so the the spikes were basically meant for killing the screamers and any you know meandering meandering zombies it, you know it can take out the weak wandering hordes um, but if we get like an irradiated cop horde or a zombie bear horde, they just go right over those spikes. They don't even they don't even get tickled by them very much at all. Okay, how much do we have? Twenty eight. We have enough for this. Yes, I know leveling has gotten crazy. It's gotten crazy, and I fully aware of that. I didn't really tweak all that much, but man, it made a huge difference from what I did tweak. Um, what can we upgrade here? I can upgrade that, 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 and there we go. Uh, I also need some torches down here. I just need some materials. So let's go peek out here. Looks like our lip has our overhang there has done a good job of drying. And I don't think there's a wandering horde. Right on cue. Coming right at us. So let's see if I need to see him hunted too. And this little area here, this actually gives them a little bit of, of fall damage. If they fall down here. Yeah, these guys always survive. These guys must be really tough. Pretty much everybody gets their legs busted. They may not die. There we go. Okay, Wandering Horde taken care of. So the good thing about that is with that lip, you can just run right off the roof and uh, make it out uh, and, and survive. What are you doing up here, dude? Oh. He was part of the Wandering Horde, and he just... He's like, no, dude, I'm out of here. Okay, can we make some more steel? We can make 250 more. That's 25. Uh, I did find the land claim block. It was like right in front of me. It was like right here. So I did find it, which is nice. I do want to move the workbench over, get, get some of that over. Um, let's see. I know I'm missing something important. I have that feeling like, hmm... Need to cover. S oh, there's another screamer. Now she doesn't have a head. Leave my door alone, lady. We need to. I need to eat some food. Holy cow! Three percent hunger. Wow. And the glory of the meat stew goes from 3% to 100%. Yay! And that is how you deal with door-to-door -door salesmen right there. Okay. I think everybody's good. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot of leeway uh, when it comes to ammo right now. So I need to figure out... 
maybe a solution. I don't know if if we have enough time to run with it, but I need I need to do something here. Uh, iron bars, the yes, that is one thing we need to take care of. Is the iron bars? Ooh, here. Ooh, I can't even assemble this. I don't even have the right book for that. That is sad times right there. Uh, bone shiv, I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to see if we can't get some machete crafting going. Uh, I want a B. I want like... Let's not craft one of these up. Get some leather. Should have ample amounts of leather left over. I think it's like two or three. Uh, and then M-A. Oh, it's only one. Oh, but we need the workbench. Okay, so workbench. M-A. So yeah, I've got this 465 that I've looted. And the 600 allows me... Beauty of the 600 with maxed out skills is I can take a body and I can just pop it in one one slap there. I can pop that balloon in just one hit. And it makes it a little much, much faster to uh, process the bodies. And you can just drop. Drop everything. So yeah, I really don't want to lose any of this food that we have in here. Because that's what's keeping me alive. So I might want to move that over first. And uh, put it in a nice safe spot. So we almost lost... We almost lost this chest. And look at all the materials that we have in here. We got lead galore uh, for bullets. We got a little bit of brass hanging around, but I'm gonna need I'm gonna need something extra for that. Oh. And I haven't done a whole lot of looting, so I don't have very many schematics at all. Because everything is so far away. Like, it's it's a hike to get anywhere. And it's really sporadic, like, really sparsely. Like, I don't know. I'm just having a hard time with this, uh, with this seed. Uh, as far as our little platform goes, you can see we've now made our mark. Made our mark on this, on this map. So there is... Some more steel, which we can come over here and just continue. I don't even have a mining helmet yet. Oh, and I put I put the iron I had away in my inventory, of course. So now I can't even can't even do that. So you got to repair, even if it's down one one little ex like hit point. You've still got to repair it before you can upgrade it. Um, oh, I thought I saw something over here. There they are right there. So I can do 20 more with that forged steel. So yeah, the forged steel, I mean, it. it's tough to uh, get that forged steel up and running. So if we come down here... Ouch. Sorry. And two more. And we're done. So, yeah, I'm doing the outside ring first. That's the first spike they hit when they come in. So that will that will do the most damage. And then the other the other spike inside is is going to be upgraded last just to try to keep them at bay. But yeah, this process of up of uh Smelting this down is taking forever because of course You need uh, what is it 20 so you need four of these to smelt before you can make even one of these steels um, But for now, I'm gonna make some nails See how many nails we can make let's make 500 nails Ooh, Yeah, that's fast 
Uh, yeah, I need I need nails so I can make storage crates to go down there, and we're gonna start. I'm gonna start moving my material down. Uh, it's and I desperately need to get it down there, so I can stop coming up here. I can basically abandon this spot even if it's not sorted right away i can always create a sorting system later and uh do that you know of course i'll be doing that kind of stuff off camera so i'm gonna pick this up now that i put the land claim block down pick this bad boy up and i'll be able to place him in the new in the new place fairly easily and uh, with those nails they're probably done uh how much wood do i have on me oh i got plenty of wood so I can do, if we do a storage, storage box is what I like to use. So we're going to make 50 of those right off the bat. Um, and then let's see, how many more nails can I make? 250? Let's, I'm going to need, I'm going to need some, uh, some signs so I can label. So I can label things eventually. See, we've got like 43 762, but I don't really have a weapon for 762. And we, yeah, we don't have any parts at all. Mechanical parts, nothing. That's a problem. That's a big, big problem. We can't do any blade traps without those. So I might need to actually venture out find some cars see there's just so little around me it makes it really hard to uh to loot anywhere and that's all wasteland that's terrifying territory um i'm gonna go grab the nails that are done and i can do s-i-g-n and one by one. Oh, i don't need 62 let's do no i don't need 50 let's try 20 of those Okay, so the first thing I want to bring over is a bunch of stone. Because I'm I'm crafting up. Uh, I'm crafting up concrete over here, and I need lots and lots and lots of stone. So we're going to sneak in here. And, uh, yeah, I need to bring some torches down here as well. So I want to upgrade... I want, like, these up here to be stone. So. Bingo. And then I'm going to have... I'm going to have some. One, two, three. These will be for iron. For the raw iron, not the not the good stuff. I want to I keep that. So, let's do a sign... This is just stone. And then one over here. This is iron. Actually, let's do raw iron. Just because there's there's a difference. There's a difference between the two. Oh yeah, and I've got the rest of these. I got two more pads down here to, to upgrade. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I have enough. But that'll have to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.